Hello rock people, this is Dave the Geology Dude. Today we visit the Petrified Forest in California, which is located north of San Francisco and near the city of Calistoga. This video features the petrified tree trunk called the Giant. This petrified log has been exposed in place by the removal of topsoil and adjacent volcanic material to the original ground level where it fell 3.4 million years ago. This tree is about 6 feet wide and 60 feet long. This tree is a type of extinct sequoia, which is related to the modern redwood. This tree fell during a violent volcanic eruption that originated from nearby Mount St. Helena. Obviously, Mount St. Helena in California is a different volcano than the famous Mount St. Helens. Mount St. Helens in Washington State erupted in 1980. However, Mount St. Helena is located about 11 kilometers or 7 miles from this petrified tree. The volcanic blast leveled the ancient forest. The associated light-colored volcanic ash buried the locally fallen trees, and this also sealed the fallen trees in this area from the elements above. This relatively solid volcanic ash layer forms an obvious pavement-like layer over many places in the area. This volcanic layer preserved the original wood fibers from the normally quick processes of rot and decomposition. Over millions of years, the microscopic pore spaces and fibers within the original wood were slowly filled and replaced by microscopic quartz-rich minerals. As is common to petrified wood, the original tree rings, tree bark, and other organic structures became replaced and replicated in a remarkably identical way as the original organic structures. This allows scientists to identify the original tree type by looking at the petrified tree rings under a microscope. After the identification of the petrified tree species, the identification of the climate that the type of tree lived in is implied from 3.4 million years ago. Also, the direction that the tree fell, in this case in a southwest to northeast orientation, allows identification of the general direction of the ancient volcanic blast. The adjacent volcanic ash allows identification of the volcanic source area with the original eruption event. Most petrified forests, such as in this area of California, contain only a relatively small variety of petrified tree types. This is because localized forest areas usually have both consistent climate and soil conditions. These consistent conditions allow for only a small variety of tree types to dominate a given area. However, some petrified forests are exceptions to this general rule. An example is the Ginkgo Petrified Forest in central Washington state. In that area, trees from a wide variety of higher and lower elevations and from different climatic conditions had traveled down along an ancient flooding river to a distant wet lowland area. Thereafter, a series of lava flows in central Washington entombed the unusually diverse variety of tree species which had become waterlogged in that area. Thereafter, petrification began to the trees in that locality. I should mention that scientists now know how to make petrified wood in a laboratory within only days of time, but this is under perfect conditions. It normally requires millions of years to create petrified wood under natural conditions. In fact, I have found 15 million year old wood that hasn't been petrified at all. Another aspect related to this ancient giant tree in California is how it breaks into various orientations. Because the quartz rich rock is the material in petrified wood, it is quite brittle compared to the relatively flexible wood fibers in natural wood. Therefore, the petrified wood may break into distinct segments across the width of the petrified tree trunk. This is caused by forces to the petrified tree from slight differences in ground settlement over its long length. Additionally, because petrified wood has replicated the original wood grain structures from the original tree, petrified wood also can break along similar orientations, like with modern pieces of naturally split wood. This petrified forest is in a hilly area near the famous Napa Valley, known for its wineries. Occasionally, forest fires occur in the area. However, these petrified trees are no longer made of wood, Although petrified wood will not burn in a modern fire event, direct exposure to high heat of fire could cause some spalling damage to the surfaces of the petrified wood. But it is likely that this giant tree of stone will remain unchanged for a very long time in the future. Well, what is called the Petrified Forest is located about 90 minutes north of San Francisco or nearly two hours west of Sacramento. It is just west of the small town of Calistoga. The site is open daily for visitors for a fee. This area has a Mediterranean climate, which relates to relatively cool, damp winters and relatively warm, dry summers. The Mediterranean climate is great for grapes because relatively dry summer months relate to the key time when winery grapes grow.